right-hander Sonny Gray was so bad last season that Yankees GM Brian Cashman uncharacteristically publicly admitted last October that former All-Star right-hander Sonny Gray was a bad fit and needed to move. On following an atrocious 2018, no matter, the Yankees spent much of the offseason waiting and hoping for a decent return for a starter who can become a free agent next winter. MLB Free Agents Tracker 2019, who signed, who's available The Yankees finally are about to cut their losses, as Gray appears headed to the Cincinnati Reds in a deal that is expected to be completed Saturday night. According to John Heyman of Bankard, the Yankees and Reds were, finalizing, a deal that would send Gray to Cincinnati for double-A second baseman Shed Long and a draft pick. Long, 23, was a 12th round draft pick in 2013 who is ranked by MLB Pipeline as the Reds' seventh best prospect. A left-handed hitting who is only 5'8", long hit .251 last season with 12 homer, 56 RBI and 19 steals in 126 Southern League games for the AA Pensacola Blue Wahoos. The career .272 hitter has a reputation for being a better hitter that fielder, Heyman reported. The Yankees thought they were getting a no. Two starter when dealing three of their top prospects to the Oakland Athletics for Gray at the 2017 trade deadline. Gray, 29, proved to be a huge disappointment, as he pitched to a 4.51 era for them in two seasons over 41 outings, 34 as a starter, after logging a 3.66 era in five seasons with Oakland. Gray pitched his way out of the Yankees' rotation last season while going 11-9 with a 4.90 era in 30 outings, 23 as a starter. What really spooked the Yankees is how poorly Gray generally pitched for them at Yankee Stadium. In 2008, he was 4-4 with a 6.98 era in 15 home outings, 11 as a starter, and 7-5 with a 3.17 era on the road over 17 games, 12 of them starts. The Yankees tried everything that they could think of trying to fix Gray, who for most of last season even got his way by having backup catcher Austin Rumini in the lineup for his starts over regular Gary Sanchez. Gray was moved to the bullpen after a disastrous August. One home start in which he was booed off the field following a two and two-thirds inning, seven-run outing that came in a 7-5 loss to the worst in baseball Baltimore Orioles. A 2015 All-Star, Gray was dealt to the Yankees on July 31, 2017 for double-A shortstop Jorge Mateo, triple-A center fielder Dustin Fowler and A-ball righty James Caprillion, a former no. One pick who was rehabbing from Tommy John surgery. So far, the Yankees haven't been burned by this deal, as the three prospects haven't yet lived up to their potential with only Fowler reaching the bigs. In a non-impactful role, Randy Miller may be reached at rmiller at advancemedia.com. Follow him on Twitter at Randy Miller. Find NJ.com on Facebook.